the Republicans see an opening here. Remember, one of the things the president was mad about was just three weeks ago, uh, behind me in that Capitol, I don't know if you can see it through the rain and the snow, uh, when Prime Minister Netanyahu came, stood in the well of the House of the Representatives and told the Congress and the American people, your president's wrong. Don't trust him in these Iran negotiations. Republicans see the victory by Netanyahu as proof that they should continue to sort of be aggressive in foreign policy. Speaker John Boehner is about to make a trip to Israel. Maybe no surprise there. He's the one who invited Prime Minister Netanyahu to speak. But he's going to meet with him, Israeli officials say, in Jerusalem. Now, American presidents don't meet the Prime Minister of Israel in Jerusalem because that's part of the two-state solution. That's part of the negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians. They have those meetings in Tel Aviv normally. Uh, so that's part of it as well. And listen, a number of the 2016 Republicans uh, criticized the president. When the White House said they would reassess the relationship, a lot of Republicans were critical of that, including Marco Rubio. This is a historic and tragic mistake. Israel is not a Republican or Democratic issue. If this was a Republican president doing these things, I would give the exact same speech. In fact, I would be even angrier. This is outrageous, it is irresponsible, it is dangerous, and it betrays the commitment this nation has made to the right of a Jewish state to exist in peace. Just without a doubt, the exclamation point there is this is going to continue uh, throughout the next few months and the next couple of weeks of the sensitive negotiations and then throughout the 2016 campaign. Put in the box. Well, it, it, yeah. well, it puts Hillary right. in a box, but it also, Mark Rubio has been trying to stake out this very tough foreign policy, this very hawkish foreign policy, and this is very much a part of that. And I also would watch and see who's fundraising off of this because I think right. that's next. That'll be part of it as well. This uh, unfortunately, right, uh, welcome to the ne inevitabilities of American politics. Somebody will fundraise off it as well. 